Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are gonna understand about the class D power amplifier design in Altspice. Okay, so before I start explaining the design of class D amplifier, I wanna wish you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Okay, so have a good vacation and have a good time. Okay. Now let us understand the design of class D power amplifier. How will you design the class D power amplifier? How will you simulate the class D power amplifier in Delta Spice? How class D power amplifier works? And this design I have made for 36 watt. Okay. So later I'll show, I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the third the different waveform for class d power amplifier i'll show you the 36 watt power what you are getting with this class d power amplifier okay so let us understand now so you can see here let us start with this positive supply vcc that is 12 volt and you can see this is the negative supply i called it minus ve that is minus 12 volt now you can see here this is a half breeze topology you can see two mosfet is connected together this is n channel mosfet m1 and the part number is ao6408 and this is the again n channel mosfet n2 and the same part i have used here now you can see the source of m1 is connected to the drain of m2 you, okay you can see here and the drain of m1 is connected to the positive supply and the source of m2 is connected to the negative supply if i say the positive supply that means minus uh, plus 12 volt and if i say negative supply that means minus 12 volt okay now at this point of time you can see i have used one gate driving resistance r3 and r2 that is 10 ohm now you can see this is the plus pwm and this is the minus pw that means i am giving the complementary signal to drive m1 mosfet and m2 mosfet so i'll show you in the simulation how this pwm signal looks like how i have implemented the dead time for this pwm signals okay what is the role of dead times uh, dead time i'll show you now, so the value of inductor l1 is 22.5 micro henry and this capacitor c1 is 680 micro henry so the value of l1 and c1 chosen in a such a manner so that this is basically a low pass filter and the corner frequency for this low pass filter l1 and c is around 40 kilohertz which is pa which is far away from the audio frequency signal range which is maximum 20 kilohertz so it is passing the frequency below 40 kilohertz now at this point of time i have connected 4 ohm load so let us assume you are using a speaker audio speaker and that the impedance of that speaker is 4 ohm so for here the simulation purpose the load i have used here is 4 ohm okay now let us talk a bit more about this pwm plus and pwm minus so let me show you here so now you can see here i have used the pulse and that is v on is 10 volt delay is zero rise and fall time is one nano second t on is 0 0.5 millisecond and t period is one millisecond that means i am driving this mosfet with one kilohertz frequency okay and for this you can see the initial delay i have given the 520 millisecond now the rise and fall time is same t on is same and t period is same so this 20 millisecond you can see 0 0.02 millisecond is the dead time between both pwm plus and pwm minus okay so here i have implemented the dead time so in many application you might have seen the open based circuitry first they have used audio signal then they have used the triangular wave generator then somehow they used the comparator to generate the pwm signal 
but I this design I am directly using the gate driver of this PW, uh, this MOSFET and you can see here the VS is connected to since M1 is high side switch and M2 is low side switch so you can see this PWM is V1 is connected between this PWN and this VS so that you will have 10 volt here to drive the high side switch okay and the low side switch low side PWM is connected between minus PWM to ground right with reference to ground okay now let me let me run the simulation and let me show you the different waveforms here so uh, let me probably try to tile window vertically okay so that you can see better things so so you can see this is 12 volt and again this is minus 12 volt here you can see minus 12 volt this is minus 12 volt and this is plus 12 volt and if you want to see the signal with reference to VSS here you can see this is 0 to 20, 10 volt and if you want to see this signal you can see here both are overlapped now let me show you so you can see when green is high red is low when red is high green is low so that is how and you can see between these two pulse I have some dead time okay you can see this dead time now this is your MOSFET gate signal both positive let me what I can do is this is the positive signal and let me do this might be your negative signal if you zoom you can see easily okay now let me show you the voltage at this point right what is the voltage you are giving let me do like that so you can see the voltage is uh, looks like that at this junction and let me show you the voltage at output voltage now you can see you are getting minus 1 to minus 12 volt output okay and let me show you the current flowing through this resistance so you can see current flowing through this resistance is 3 amps uh, and let me show you the power delivered by this so you can see here the power is how much you can see the power here is 36 watt let me run the simulation again tile window vertically and here this time let me show you the power right so control plus alter then only you see the power right so you can see your power is 36 watt right if you, I do like this you can see your power is 36 watt so this class D power amplifier is designed to deliver the 36 watt of power now let me show you the FFT for this so go at view and click on FFT and maybe I'll show you not VSS I want to show you this so okay so now you can see guys let me zoom it further so you can see different frequency this is your fundamental frequency and let me add the filter here let me add the cursor and you can see your frequency is around 1 kilohertz okay so this is your fundamental frequency and now you can see the different harmonics here right so you can go at view you can delete this and go at view run fft select the output voo and you can see your your fft plot you can see here